Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about NERTEC. Um, before we get going, appreciate a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. Also, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So, NERTEC, um, this is going to be part of our 101 series. I just try to give a 35,000 foot view of some of these medications that if your doctor mentions it to you, this will give you the high points of it. But NERTEC is a newer migraine medication and it's used specifically to treat acute migraines, so not as a preventative for migraines that you have each month. And I point that out because of how it acts in the body. Nurtec is what's called the CGRP uh, blocker, which is calcitonin gene-related peptide. Fancy way of saying that it tries to address some of the inflammation that goes on, or that we think goes on with with migraines. Now a lot of the other CGRP blockers are subcutaneous or intravenous and they're given once a month or once every three months to try to block migraines, essentially prevent migraines from coming on. Nurtex different, it's a little bit like Ubrel being the fact that it's given acutely, you take it and you're trying to treat a migraine right at that point in time. Um, and speaking of treating it at that point in time, it brings up dosing. Nurtec is unique in that it's a sublingual tablet. So you can put it under your tongue, dissolve it on the tongue. It's a 75 milligram dose. What makes it unique with the dosing is it, it's only dosed once. Some of the other migraine medications, you take one. If it doesn't work, you can take another one in two hours. Not the case with Nurtec. It's essentially one and done. The the one thing we can note about Nurtec is we really don't have a lot of evidence to suggest if somebody's getting over 15 migraines a month, which sounds like a lot, um, but for people with migraines, it happens. Um, it's, it's more common than, than we think. Um, but the effectiveness of treating using Nurtec over 15 migraines a month, they really haven't looked at it. So it's kind of designed for for the folks that are getting less than that per month. Drug interactions, this one is important. When it comes to drug interactions, it's easy for me to give you a list, but for every drug, there's a lot of possible interactions. So it's really up to your pharmacy, to your doctor to kind of coordinate, figure out what those might be. But um, the big ones that you wanna keep an eye out for is any of your azole antifungals, like fluconazole is a popular one some of the HIV ones, some of these drugs that can block an enzyme in your liver called CYP3A4, and there's, there's a fair amount of them because if they block this enzyme, it means Nurtec's not gonna be broken down as much in your body and your blood levels can go up, which can lead to side effects. Speaking of which, um, Nurtec is, in my opinion, very well tolerated, low risk of side effects with its use. The main ones we see it can bring on a bit of nausea, 2% of users in skin rash, less than 1%. So very well tolerated. As far as reviews, um, I don't have a lot of people on Nurtec right at this time, but based off the feedback I've gotten um, from other doctors and online, it, it appears to be increasing in pop popularity. If you read the literature, um, it came out after Ubrelvi, so it kind of had, uh, Ubrelvi had a head start on it, but Nurtec is gaining some popularity in the marketplace. As far as the up or down, it kind of depends on how you feel about the dosing. If you can only take one tablet and then no more, for some people that's a downside. For others, uh, they like that sort of thing. The biggest thing I would point out, and this probably goes for Ubrelvi as well because it's a CGRP inhibitor. If you were taking Amavig or a Jovi or Imgalady, any of these CGRP inhibitors that you give subcutaneously to try to prevent migraines, if you get poor results from those, there's, a, there's an increased chance that you will get poor results from Nurtec or Ubrelvi because they're also CGRPs. It's not guaranteed. I'm just putting it out there because it tends to happen that if you've had poor results from those, maybe not gonna be the best choice in the world. Now, from a financial perspective, um, Nurtec, any of these new CGRPs, none of them are cheap, 
but all of them have um, basically financial programs to help folks be able to afford them. So I'll include a link to Nurtex um, financial assistance program, their copay cards, that kind of thing, uh, in a link um, at the bottom of this video. So that's Nurtech. Um, definitely has some upsides, also has some downsides, and one of the newer uh, medications out there used to treat migraines. So Curtis Alexander, appreciate you watching. Again, thumbs up would be appreciated. Uh, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you.